what is going on everybody it's Greek Limes back playing through episode 3 map 4 of the ultimate doom today this one's called house of pain if it wasn't for YouTube copyright laws we'd be listening to jump around the whole time I play this map but YouTube doesn't like to have fun so can't do that the video will be taken down or there'll be no sound and nobody wants that so First thing I like to do after you kill that demon right ahead of you is head into the room to the right, come back here, grab the armor bonus, hit a left, grab all the stuff behind this wall, it's not a secret, then turn around and get the other armor bonus. Then go across the hall to the room full of the blood, kill this demon, and then turn around and kill the caco demon. You can use rockets on him if you want, they're just in kind of short supply right now, so I prefer the shotgun since I have a ton of ammo for that. Just takes a little longer, that's all. But, um, yeah, so this level really, you start to feel like you're in hell. It's got a very creepy, ominous music to it. I mean, like, blood, demons, all that crap, so, yeah. When I was a kid, the music used to scare the crap out of me. Come in here, grab the berserk pack and the uh, mega armor and start punching all these guys out. They obviously sprung a trap on us. That teleporter outside, obviously I didn't take it because, I'll show you why in a second. There's two specters that take it. Where that teleporter ends up going is into this room here where those specters hide out. And you can take it yourself and get a secret. And that's really it. But yeah, like I was saying, to me this level really has a hellish tone to it, the music is ominous, all that good stuff, so very, very good level feel to it. Pop out here, I like to shoot that barrel and crisp those guys, and then there's another barrel there, Let's see if I can take out the Kako demon, and while he's playing hide and seek with me, I'll just pop off all his buddies, and then... Yeah, everybody's dead out here. So, yeah, like I was saying, when I was a kid, I used to, uh, or no, I didn't say that. I was talking about the music. Um, when I was a kid, the music scared the crap out of me. Hit that switch, that'll raise up that platform. Hit this switch, that'll raise up that platform. Now, you don't want to get close to these things, because if you do... The pillars will lower and start to crush you. If you hit these switches while well, the pillars are all the way down or not all the way down, the platforms won't rise all the way and you can't grab the stuff and get back out. So don't get close to them until you hit those switches. But, yeah. So what I'm going to do is grab all the stuff in here and then I'm going to hit this switch to open this door. And then you're just going to run back here and basically... Just try to stir up as much crap as possible. Like, wake up these guys. Get out of the way, fools. And then there's a baron back here I want to wake up. There's a blue key back here. Grab that. And then this thing's wearing off. Get me hell out of here. Or I'm gonna die. Mother of Christ, get me the fuck out of here. Oh, Jesus. Holy hell, that was scary. That trap's gonna spring. That was fun. And then there's more of them. We gotta move. And fast. Get me out of here. Alright. So, yeah. Turn on so I can grab all this health, please. Whew. I am just, like, done with this level. To be honest with you. I've had just bad luck with it. So, if my commentary seems off, I apologize. It's probably because I've been talking about the same things for the past half hour and yeah so now basically what happened is uh, one of the times I played I fell victim to the platform trap I told you about one time I missed a bunch of enemies had to go back and find them nobody wants to watch me backtrack I think another time I just died or something I don't know this is like my third or fourth attempt and it's not a hard level at all like like always the practice runs go perfect and then when I do the actual playthrough it sucks but Whatever. What we're going to want to do is switch to the chain gun and start picking 
Did that Baron just like take care of everybody? Let's see how weakened he is. They're not very, apparently. Yeah, like I was saying, when I was a kid, this level used to scare the crap out of me because um, of the music and because of this section right here. This is a lovely room of death. Some of these figures, what I was reading online a couple days ago, were actually taken from like the hanging of, uh, I can't remember if it was Joseph Stalin or Benito Mussolini, but that's what it's based off of. Him and his like lover girlfriend, which is kind of dark and twisted and weird, but hey, whatever, we're in hell, so... And why I was 10 years old and playing this game is beyond me. My mother was blissfully ignorant. My older brother just kind of got a new computer, gave us his old one, which had Doom on it. I thought Doom was a fun game, so I played it. If it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't be doing this playthrough right now. So, yeah. Open this door up, and there's a stupid caco demon here to whoop our ass right behind this door. So we're going to pelt him. Oh, you got me. You got me good. You got me good again. I was wondering when you were going to die. Hit this switch, that'll open this back up. And... Let's see what I can manage here. Let's open the blue door up, see if we can lure these imps out here. They might do it themselves. Nice. I am the smartest man alive. Alright, we're going to switch to the chain gun. Open that up. We're not going to go through there yet, though. We're going to take this door to the left first. Kill everything in here. F, I didn't want to do that. Oh, you. It's not going well. Alright, so kill the caca demon. Come through this door. We're invisible, so these guys are gonna have a hard time seeing us. Two more caco demons back here, and there's some specters as well. Damn it, I did not want that door to open up. God, this is not going well. Whatever, we'll be fine. I can't remember if that caco demon. Okay. I can't remember if that caco demon was in that room or if it was that one I'm shooting at now. So, glad I got that figured out. No, I pulled my pistol and I want to shot them. Typically. I like to BFG that room. But. Obviously, we couldn't make that happen. Another Cacodemon? Jesus Christ. Die. Alright, a medikit. That's what I want. Okay. Let's grab our second secret, shall we? Head to this door on the left. And hit the wall in here. Well, this isn't going well. That'll get us our second secret. Bunch of rockets back here. Then head across the way, kill the stupid lost soul, drop down, get a third secret and a BFG, and then open this up. Look at all these idiots. What I'm gonna do is shotgun these guys. And then... Get your rocket launcher out and the goat wall. We're gonna back up on out of there and kill Mr. Baron, who seems to like residing behind pictures of himself. I think that's a picture of him. I don't know. Pretty, pretty satanic, regardless. All right, and then come back here, grab the mega, the supercharger. Keep calling them mega spheres. They're supercharges. All right, so now that our health is in really good shape. And there's nothing left back here. We can go back to that other like circuit looking door we open. And hit the red area first. I like the oh that's not gonna work. It's not gonna be good for my health. I typically like to pump rockets back into that room, but that didn't really work out too well. I could pull a Big Mac Davis if anybody's ever seen his video. He just waits and waits and waits and then the demon runs out at him right when he shoots a rocket and he blows the rocket right up in his face and he gets all pissed off. It's kind of funny. But 
Yeah, so there's like a trick to getting this door to open. I'm not sure what it is, but once you get it, F you. Like it's something to do with stepping on the water and then stepping on the red floor, but the red floor hurts you, so. You piece of poop. Alright, we're in. Perfect. Okay. Now, this is where the level starts to get kind of confusing. We're going to chain gun all these imps down first. And then we'll make sure none of these uh, shotgunners or zombie men feel left out. Oh, I am almost out of ammo. I am out of ammo for my uh, chain gun. So first thing I like to do is just come down all these hallways and make sure everything's cleared out. I just tend to hit all these at once. Cause yeah, here it tends to do the trick. Just gotta kill all the demons. And then, in here you've got an invulnerability, but I'm gonna save it for a little later. Then I'm going to come over here and hit all of these switches and then run out here and see, you know, what I learned, which is absolutely nothing. This is where these uh, switches get complex is on this uh, left side here. And if you hear that clank and that's my dog being a whore, just wanting more attention than she deserves right now. Doesn't realize I'm busy recording. And we're gonna play in five minutes when I beat this level. I don't know what the specific combination is for this to open up all these air. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Kill that guy. And then, yeah, these should have opened up. Here we go. This is what we needed right here. Yeah, I don't know. There's, If you want to look it up, you can. That's what the internet's for. But there's a special way to get all those areas to open up. Once you do... Um, you've got the red key. You can open this up. And I just like to come back here and kill all of these guys. And now I'm going to go back and grab that invulnerability. And switch to my rocket launcher and we'll run back through here him. Him. Kill him. hit the switch switch kill that butthole and kill that guy so I try to make the most out of that invulnerability basically um, once you have everything up here we're gonna grab the mega armor the box of bullets and then haul ass back across here and then back here is a rad suit so now you can kind of explore back here grab the shotgun shells and then there's a backpack back here. And now we can go down here and finish off this level. Open the circuit looking door. And I believe there's a Kecko Demon behind the exit. Plasma him. And you know what? Just for a good measure. We got everything. Alright, let's get out of here. House of Pain is done. I really like that level. I don't know why I had so much trouble with it. I, I really don't. Um, just bad luck. Maybe I just felt rushed. I don't know. The dog getting in my face really didn't help either. That happened a couple times. But yeah, the music is really great on it. Um, I just get kind of nostalgic for it because I remember it creeping me out as a kid. The room with all the corpses in it is scary like everything about it is just scary and screams like yeah i'm in hell to me so really great level really great level um that's really all i got to say about it we're gonna move on to the next level which also has a great feel to it but blows ass but you know what i am gonna get into that 
in the next video. Remember to check out the description for all the links to my social media. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Like this video, comment on this video. I love that stuff. I like hearing from the people who watch my videos. It motivates me to keep doing it, do more. But just get into the Doom community a little bit, you know? Just help a guy out. Just help a guy out. As always, my name is Greek Limes. Yours is not. I will see you guys in Episode 3, Map 5, Unholy Cathedral. Until then, I'll check you later.